All right, guys, we are reviewing a new antivirus that I've seen come up. It's called Total AV. So every time a new antivirus comes out, I like to test it out and see how it does. So here it is. As soon as I installed it, it started a, a scan right away, right off the bat. And after it was done, this is what it shows here, that I have two malware threats. Uh, real time is disabled. So here it says I, I got junk files that it needs to uh, do a boost and it's giving me some recommendations the only buttons I have here is to buy it 70% discount today get protected apparently this is supposed to be the free edition and if I click on get protected here something tells me it's gonna open up a whole new window As so yep check it out now it's making me buy it $29 right here what the heck? I thought it was the free one. So here's the red one here. Okay. So it looks like it, it is gonna let me do it, but I got a feeling even though it's free, it's gonna be it's gonna be making me buy the upgraded version. So here we have a YouTube downloader setup.exe. It thinks that's a adware but that's actually how I download videos off of YouTube so no I'm gonna whitelist that one uh, driver toolkit install I think I use that that's a toolkit that I use I'm gonna whitelist that also and security recommendations here is for me to turn on real-time protection safe browsing and ad block so eh, it looks like yeah I'm not going to remove threats, so I'm not going to hit this button to remove because I actually use these programs over here. I understand how it probably, uh, you call these false positives when it finds stuff that's not a virus, but it thinks it's a virus. Okay, so let's look through this program real quick. Let's go to Diagnostics back. So Diagnostics is this window that I first started with. Let's take a look at System Boost. Um, and system boost it looks like we can do we can manage startup programs uninstall applications which you can do that without a, this program and browser manager let's start off with startup program see what we got here okay so we have you torrent let's turn that off oh it's gonna go to make me buy it so we can't even use those things really come on upgrade now oh they disabled it hmm Let's disable that one. Oh, every time we try to disable something, it opens up an ad. Already because of that, I'm not going to give this program a good review because it just keeps trying to get you to upgrade. We're using the free one right now, but what's the point of using a free one if you keep trying to make me buy the 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 one to upgrade? You know, it is working. It is disabling it, but look what it's doing. C cleaner, boom, there it goes again. What the heck? No, no. That is not the way a free antivirus program should be working. Shame on total A V for doing that. Okay, well. We already know how that works. Let's go back to diagnostics. I bet the disk cleaner does the same thing. It says we have duplicates here. Oh, that's my diploma right there. Well, it looks like I'm not going to go through these things because uh, this is private information, so I'm not going to look through it. But it looks like, yeah, it does find duplicates. That's pretty cool. I'm going to try to delete one. Well, I'm not going to be able to mess with this, guys, because some of this stuff is private. So we're going to go straight to junk cleanup better. Let's go back to diagnostics. Uh, instead of going to duplicates, we're going to go junk cleanup here. Uh, we'll do this. So let's do delete for junk cleanup. And at least it didn't go to another um, ad. Man, those ads popping up, it just sucked. It sucked that it was doing that. I went, oh my god, there it goes again. There it goes again. Oh my god. All right. I recovered 23 gigs of space. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. At least it, it freed up 23 gigs of space. Now, I don't know what the heck it 
delete it. I hope it didn't delete any good stuff on my computer, man. I don't know. I don't trust this total AV thing. It just look, there goes another freaking ad. What the heck? Just ad after ad after ad. Man. Alright, let's go to web security here. Safe browsing v using a VPN, not connected, but it looks like it has a VPN. Something tells me it's gonna make us let's see. Let's pick Australia and hit connect now. Is a premium feature. You're running a free version. You need to upgrade. So just as I just as I suspected, you can't even freaking use this thing. Identity protection. If you go to activate, there you go. You got to have the premium version. Firewall. At least the firewall works. Eh, look, it's working. At least that works. Okay. Uh, what else do you got? AdBlock Pro. Ah, activate AdBlock Pro now to remove unwanted annoying adverts. Cool. Let's activate. Oh, premium feature. Okay. Okay, there's a password vault. Do we go to get. Oh, premium feature too. So everything you need to upgrade to use. What can you use here? Probably nothing. Only the antivirus. I guess you can use the antivirus. But that's about it. But when you try to use it, it opens up ads anyway. All right. Enough with this program. I don't like it. I'm going to give it a bad review because of the ads. If you're going to make a free antivirus program, I mean, I understand you want them to upsell. You want to upsell them to premium version Total AV, but come on, guys. This is ridiculous. Every time you go somewhere, it opens up an ad or tells you to upgrade. That's not right. If you're going to make the free version, at least have it free. Come on. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. That's enough with this program. I give it a bad review. I'm going to give it two out of five stars. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews on these new antivirus programs because there's so many of them coming out, and I'm, just, I'm going to review all of them. And then uh, eventually I'm going to tell you which one works best for this coming year. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment on the comment section if you have any questions or whatever you guys think about this program. And I'll see you soon in my next video.